I'll tell you what, you'll seem pretty calm after a big victory. Oh. I tell you what, I didn't like the way that race unfolded at all. I thought you're going to be up close. But well, I intended to be, but everybody kept moving, you know, and uh, I didn't want to be first over with him. And uh, so I just, I had three good ones in front of me. So <sighs> I didn't like that way. It was back down the backside. I was getting covered up way too deep, man. Now, this horse came in the race very, very sharp. You brought him along kind of slowly. He's been sick on me. Uh, after he finished fourth up here, he had it two days later, uh, he had a temperature 103. So I knew then I should have been right on top of uh, the Sheik that night. Mm -hmm. He ended up fourth. But uh, two days later, he had temperature 103, and I didn't get him back going for uh, about 30 days. And then you then you had him in, and I, uh, on the uh, the ninth of September, three three days later, right back in the eliminations. Well, I thought it'd be a good tightener, and I was running out of time. You know, in 30 days' time, he only been a mile in like uh, four or five miles in 20, and one in 212. That wasn't enough to really uh, try to handle these boys. So that worked out well, then. Yes, I think it did real well. What about the horse himself? Uh, and this is a. Did you buy him privately, or? Yeah, I bought him at. Uh, I sold the sale. Four thousand dollar. Not bad, four thousand. No. Yeah. And let's see, you made half of three hundred sixty today. Yeah, I can't <laughs> believe that. Congratulations. Thank you.